I got nothing. Men is a horror thriller starring Jesse Buckley as a young woman who goes on a vacation to a remote house in the English countryside following the death of her ex-husband where strange things occur. What's up guys and welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really do appreciate that. What to say about this movie? <laughs> it was definitely an eye opener, that's for sure. The film was done by A24 whose movies are kind of a hit and a miss. I don't really see much that crosses my radar, but the ones that I do see, eh. So when I heard about this film, when I heard about men, I saw the trailer, and I had like mixed opinions about what the plot actually is. Usually whenever a trailer, especially a movie like this, comes out, they keep it really tight lit. I can think of other, only one other movie like that that's getting ready to come out, which is Jordan Peele's Nope which I will get into later on when that comes out. I will review that one. But when Men came out, when I saw the trailer for this film, it was a head-scratcher. And then I watched the film. So starting off with the positives for this film, I really did like Jesse Buckley's character. She stole this movie. You know, Jesse Buckley, she's not an actress that crosses my radar much, but I think this is the first movie I've seen of her. But she really stole the show. She really stole this movie. She basically plays this character who's lost her ex-husband. And she tries to get away from it all. By going to this remote house in this English countryside. Just try to get away from it all. Where all this strange things keeps on happening. I was right up there with her till the very end. And her character like, just showed so much depth and emotion. Her performance was done really well. Like I said, I was, I was with her throughout the whole entire film. I really did like this character. I really did like her. She stole the entire movie for me. I was right up there to the very end with her. I mean, she, said, she showed such depth and emotions. And you really did care for this character. She's the main character of this film. One thing I noticed about this movie, it's very independent. It doesn't have that much casts. And the ones that do show up, I... Pretty sure you probably wouldn't know of them. I mean, some of you might, but I, I surely didn't. It's very independent. It had a very limited cast. And it kind of reminded me of that Secret Window film that came out some years back with Johnny Depp, where he was in that remote cabin and he was writing a story. That's kind of what this movie felt like. Kind of like a Secret Window thing, where she was the only one in that house and these strange things just kept on happening. That's kind of what it reminded me of. She sum it all up, Jesse Buckley, she definitely had me throughout the whole entire film. And there are some creepy moments. Like when she goes into this tunnel and she starts, hum, hum, and starts echoing back. And it's just this long, dark tunnel. And then all of a sudden she sees this guy rise up and starts chasing her. And then there's one point where she was talking to her friend on video chat through her phone. And the signal was being lost, but you see a guy's face. And then you see a man stalking her. Just just these weird little things that just keeps on occurring that really ropes you in. And that's like the first two acts of the film. And it, it really did get me roped in. I was curious, like, you know, where are they going to go with this? The film played those moments off perfectly. There wasn't that much jump scares, but when it did occur, it made me jump. And it wasn't these cheap um, jump scares where somebody taps somebody on the shoulder and like you turn around real fast. It wasn't like that. It was actual jump scares. Again, they didn't happen much, but the film did get really quiet in those creepy moments and I really did appreciate that. Now, <laughs> here comes the part of the review where I have to be completely honest and I have to be completely blunt too. The film was freaking weird, which is my first negative. Now, I know the film was probably intending to be like this, but it was just too weird for me. After seeing this movie, The Northman seems like a walk in the park. After seeing this movie, my whole opinions changed of that film. This movie just took it to a whole nother level, especially by the third act. 
it was just batshit crazy. They just kept on throwing them out and throwing them out. Just all these weird moments. And without giving too much away, it's just... It's very hard for me to talk about this without giving away what actually happened. I was very much considering on doing a spoiler review for this, but... Uh, I, you know, it, it's just, it's just one of those movie moments to where I was like this the whole time. What the heck? Because there was certainly a bunch of moments to where you were just baffled. I'm not sure how much more I could say without spoiling the film. It was just too crazy for me. And the explanation as to why everything was happening. What explanation? I get the moral of this story. And it all goes back, uh, without too, giving too much away, it all goes back to what happened between her and her ex-husband. I get that. But it doesn't really explain anything of what's actually happening to her. What this thing is of what's actually terrorizing her. It, I am to sum it all up to just a, you know, just her conscience getting to her. But it doesn't really explain that much. Maybe you'll have uh, better luck with it than I did. First, I was thinking that this was going to be a supernatural or film revolved around a cult. Or just a good old-fashioned creature feature. Nope. Nothing like that. I would have preferred it to be any of those, but no. That's not what we got. I, I just couldn't get into it. I it didn't really give me that much. Or... Uh, anything like for that matter i just felt lost i felt empty by the end of it what more need be said but it all goes back to that weird uh stage that this whole entire third act had pretty much laid out you're basically going what the fuck Good dog. what the fuck because there was a lot of moments like that trust me it just got too much for me yeah, just leave it at that. <laughs> but in the end, guys, this movie definitely was not for me. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Other than Jesse Buckley's great performance, because like I said, that girl stole the show for me. And some of these creepy moments, which actually did work. The rest of the film, nah. It's a one-hit wonder for me. I'll never go see it again. I'll never watch it again. I'll never have it in my collection. I'll never buy it. I'll never even give it a second thought. So if you're looking for something to watch, don't waste your time. It's a swing and a miss. So men, have you watched it yet? What was your thoughts on it? Were you a fan? Did you like the overall tone? Did you find any entertainment value in this whatsoever? Or did you think it was just complete garbage? Leave me a comment down below and give me your thoughts. Thank you so much, guys, once again, for sitting through with me and watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. The Big Four, as always, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.